Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is another video in the series of uh, Windows 7 to Windows 10 upgrades. Uh, we are doing this series because this is the last year of Windows 7 in updates so some of you out there might be thinking of upgrading to Windows 10. Today we will address the issue of a upgrade from Windows 7 to a clean install of Windows 10 rather than a upgrade. What are the differences? So you could do two things to actually move your system to Windows 10. You could use the option to upgrade Windows 7 to Windows 10 using of course the media creation tool or upgrade process within the um, Windows download page that I've actually talked about in previous videos. That means you would keep your programs, you would keep your files, and um, you would actually be in Windows 10 with a lot of stuff that you've kept from Windows 7. The advantage, well, your files are there. A lot of your programs will be there. So it's less of a hassle if you want to actually use Windows 10 afterwards. You're already pretty much halfway there. And that, of course, is a positive thing. But the negative way of uh, doing it, the ne negative side of this actually is that some of the software you might lose from the upgrade. Some might not be compatible, and Windows 10 will actually remove them to make sure that it doesn't crash Windows 10. Also, even if they do get there, maybe some of the software will give you error messages and not work well. And also, some of the drivers, device drivers, might not work or actually crash the system. If you had something that didn't work right in Windows 7, um, some glitch or you know something not just not right, you might be actually taking that and moving it to Windows 10, which is not something you want. Honestly, the option that I actually think is the best is when you upgrade. If you upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10, go through the upgrade process by doing what we call a clean install. A clean install means you'll back up your files and after that you'll take note of every software you have installed that you need and hang on to that list and make sure you get either your CDs or DVDs or maybe know where you download them downloaded from the internet. And then using either the media creation tool you will update using a DVD or a um, a USB thumb drive. It could be an upgrade process from Windows 7 but in which you will actually choose to erase everything. But I like the external install even better because it's uh, actually it doesn't have to run within any other version of Windows that could create a glitch. So a clean install will give you basically a PC as if you would have bought a new PC in the stores. That means it will be starting from scratch no software, drivers, or anything from the past is in there. And of course, like I said, you have hopefully backed up your files and folders into an external hard drive, USB key. And then you can start importing all of that and start reinstalling some of the software that you'd like to use. That will, that is the best option, honestly, because it will prevent problems from Windows 7 to actually being uh, sent to Windows 10. And it will also mean that anything, you know, Windows grows with time. If you've been using Windows 7, for example, for the past five years and never reinstalled, there's a lot of junk that is accumulating within your Windows 7 OS. And that junk, part of it, will be actually transported into Windows 10, meaning Windows 10 will can have glitches. Windows 10 can run slower simply because there's just too much junk uh, after so many years. Honestly, it is the perfect time to decide simply to do a clean install and make sure that you have a lean, clean Windows 10 computer where you're starting from scratch. And if you do that, a clean install, I can bet you that you're probably going to find, especially if you've been using Windows 7 for several years without reinstall, you definitely will see Windows 10 run faster because it will not have all of that uh, massive stuff that you know accumulated in Windows 7 and possibly makes it slower uh, with time 
and you of course uh, will have less chances of having glitches problems blue screens I have noticed that in all the comments and all the people that have uh, that told me they have problems a big big majority of them have upgraded rather than clean installed and then they will say well Windows 10 is you know a piece of crap because it just does it has problems it's slow or does this or does that and the problem is, is often it's just the upgrade process created the problem. So a clean install will, basically, it's kind of your insurance of having, from the start, a really good install that works well, that has no problems, because it will be simply Windows. Then after that, you start installing some of the software and um, your heart, you know, different devices that are connected to your computer. And um, I can bet you that that will run much, much better. So if you do an upgrade, uh, please, you know, I, I think that choice is clean install much better than upgrading from Windows 7 and keeping everything. I know it's a much difficult task because you need to reinstall your software and remember everything and, you know, re-import the files. But it will work much better, honestly. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.